I want you to imagine buying XRP at under one penny before XRP pulled a 73 thousand percent i was buying xrp from three cents upwards of 30 cents and i'm still holding my xrp to this day now imagine if you were to spot a project like axie infinity in the early stages before launch and it pulled a 60 thousand percent during the last bull run and grew to nearly a 10 billion dollar market cap at over 160 dollars by november of 2021 the gaming sector in crypto is set up to be one of the top if not the top categories this bull run alongside artificial intelligence and a lot of these projects like imx you see floki you see beam egld axie infinity the sandbox have over a billion dollar market cap right now with the entire gaming sector sitting between 30 and 40 billion dollars blockchain gaming is set to garner over 818 billion dollars by 2032 according to allied market research now when we look at the top blockchains with the highest active games one chain i believe is going to absorb the majority of that liquidity and that's the polygon ecosystem now polygon's total market cap in this ecosystem is sitting about 55 billion dollars and polygon is sitting at 11 billion dollar market cap so when trillions of dollars start flowing into the crypto ecosystem as a whole and tens of billions or arguably hundreds of billions of dollars over the next few years start flowing into the gaming sector the polygon ecosystem will be right there to absorb a large chunk of that capital so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you a brand new project that has yet to launch that I think has that 100x potential. So before we dive into this video, I wanna give a quick disclaimer because every single video that we make on this channel are purely for educational, informational purposes only, and they should not be construed as financial advice I'm not a financial advisor and investing in cryptocurrencies or any token involves risk. You know, I would encourage you to always do your own research, you know, consider consulting with qualified financial advisors before you make any investment decisions. And additionally, we may receive compensation if you use any of the links in the description below. And this helps support the channel to allow us to continue creating helpful content and review videos like this. However, when we do a review on any project, it's purely based on our opinion and what we believe will do well. And we're never going to talk about anything that we don't think will do well, but obviously you understand that there's risk with everything. There's no guarantees. So it's important for you to do your own research and watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to be giving you all the information on why I believe the gaming sector will be one of the top categories this entire bull run. So if you're feeling bullish, comment 777. If you're feeling blessed, comment 777. If you're going to become the first millionaire in your family tree, confirm it by tapping that subscribe button. Let's run it. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So the major catalyst that is going to skyrocket this crypto gaming bull run and this play to earn gaming bull run is what's happening with the inflows based on these ETFs, because this is an institutional fueled bull run. And the last bull run of 2021, you guys remember play to earn gaming and what happened there with billions, hundreds of billions of dollars flowing into the industry from retail. Now that institutions are coming in, the first 20 days trading that Bitcoin spot ETF was approved, BlackRock purchased 77,000 Bitcoin. In the last 20 trading days, BlackRock purchased 114,000 Bitcoin. So if you're not paying attention to this, you probably should be because as BlackRock starts purchasing more Bitcoin, well, then we're going to see the altcoins see a rotation of liquidity because when Bitcoin's dominance starts to drop, then we see that rotation happen in the top large caps. And for example, Polygon or Matic, you know, sitting at $11 billion market cap, well, the last bull run, it was all the way upwards of 18 billion. And if more money is gonna come into this ecosystem, into the whole entire crypto sphere, well, then that rotation is gonna be much larger in terms of market cap for Polygon. And Matic is going to absorb a large chunk of that within the gaming sector. And then we're gonna see the market cap of the top gaming tokens absolutely skyrocket. In my opinion, this is gonna go well beyond $100 billion and the top largest market cap projects are going to do very, very well. But when a new retail investor comes into this space and they wonder how are they going to get that 50x, that 100x, that 500x or that 1000x, they're going to start scrolling further down the list and they're going to look for these smaller market cap projects. So for example, while all eyes in the gaming sector are on a project like Immutable IMX and nearly a $5 billion market cap, where we want to look is projects within their ecosystem that are going to be gaining a lot of support and a lot of traction. For example, you know, I made a video the other day talking about Floki when it was at like a $1 billion market cap and it's over 2 billion now, but specifically within Floki's ecosystem, they have a project called TokenFi. And this video is at about $29 million market cap. And now as you guys can see, Floki's at a 2.2 
billion dollar market cap and TokenFi is over an $80 million market cap now. So the key that I'm going to share with you in this video is low market cap projects that are within incubation hubs of much larger market cap projects that are going to receive support from bigger companies. For example, if we go to immutable.com, IMX's website, and we scroll down here, you could see they've worked with Metalcore, Gods Unchained, Alluvium, Guild of Guardians, Wagme Games. These projects have done very, very well. Currently, Alluvium's market cap is at $530 million right now and had over a billion dollar market cap last bull run. Gods Unchained did over $172 million market cap last bull run. Wagme Games currently has over a $50 million market cap, which is still a relatively large market cap as we get into the later stages of these bull runs. But where you find the 100x or the 500x or the 1000x gains is in projects that have yet to launch. So this project right here called Landrocker, which is an official partner of Immutable IMX is going to be launching soon. So over the next few minutes, I want to do a deep dive on this project. And what I will do is I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to click. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. All you have to do is click enter. And we're going to do a deep dive into this project because this project, I personally believe could do very, very well this bull run. As you can see, they finished the seed round. They're in round number nine. They're going to be launching on the Polygon network on Matic. And all you have to do to participate in their launch is connect your wallet and choose whether you want to pay in Ethereum or Matic. So if I choose Ethereum, I would connect with MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Coinbase Wallet, or Inject. So if I click MetaMask, it'll ask me to switch over to the Polygon network. Or if I click Ethereum, it'll ask me to switch over to the Ethereum mainnet. Now, if you guys want to use Matic or Polygon, I'm going to leave a bridge tutorial on how to bridge over from Ethereum, or you could just use Ethereum through the link in the description below. Now, let's say I want to pay in Ethereum. I just enter in the amount of Ethereum and it would show me the amount of LRT tokens that I'd receive. And then I just click the button right here and I complete the transaction in MetaMask. Now, the reason why Landrocker or LRT is a no brainer in their opinion and has that hundred X potential is because they're going to be launching at a $1.5 million initial market cap. Now, if we compare that to other GameFi competitors in the play to earn gaming space, you know, they're ranging anywhere from 30 million to $150 million. And so to be launching at a $1.5 million market cap is ridiculously low, especially as hundreds of billions of dollars are going to be coming into the gaming sector over the next one to two years. So when you guys click the link below, you can check out the white paper right here. It'll bring you to the overview and then you can go to the gameplay below. So Landrocker is a play to earn and platform that uses blockchain technology at the core of their reward distribution and validation system. And basically you get to go throughout space and you get to go on these missions and you know, mine valuable rewards like different NFTs that are in game on their marketplace, different crypto tokens and different crafting materials. And with your earnings in LRT, you can then craft your own NFTs and you could trade them on the marketplace with other players, which I think is really cool. And so in terms of their gameplay, you get to take a ship to different planets and collect these resources and overcome obstacles and then uh, enjoy the results of your efforts uh, with the LRT token and the NFTs. And so at the heart of Landrocker's gameplay are the rovers and then the fuel that you use to you know, power the rovers is the key to success because the more fuel that essentially that you have in the game, the further that you can travel to uncharted planets, uh, bursting valuable materials and crypto treasures, kind of like geocaching, but you know, on blockchain where you get to find this stuff and it's addicting, right? Because in a game, if you want a game to be successful, they need to have different equipment, different resources that you can level up. And then when you level up one, you know, equipment like a Rover to the max, then you would be able to get another one. And then in-game NFTs that are tradable on a marketplace is going to be another massive experience for players to be able to trade with each other. So they're going to have two different versions. They're going to have a light version and then a pro version. The light version is basically a streamlined web-based game, whereas the, the pro version is the immersive 3D gaming experience. And so Landrocker's game economy is basically designed around the idea that players are going to use LRT to purchase fuel, which allows them to send their rover to planets, you know, that you can mine for all of these rewards. And so the key components of the game are the LRT, that's the in-game currency, the fuel, the materials, the rovers, and then the planets. So Landrocker's marketplace is where the players are going to be able to trade assets or purchase the assets directly from the company, like different rovers, you know, as NFTs, different planets as NFTs, materials, which are going to be off chain, you know, the blueprints that are going to be as NFTs, and then the fuel, which is off chain as well, that's going to be used to power your rovers. Now, there's going to be three types of NFTs in the Landrocker ecosystem. All are minted on the Polygon network using the ERC 1155 protocol. So that's going to be the rovers that you're going to drive around, you know, on the planet and be able to mine these different resources. There's going to be the planet that you're going to be able to land the rovers on and go around. So the graphics in this game, pretty good, guys. They've done a very, very good job on this. And I can see players getting pretty addicted to this. And then the blueprints, which are going to basically function as the uh, guiding map for, you know, crafting planets or rovers. And the blueprints are also going to contain details and like recipes for 
are specifying the necessary quantities of materials that are required for crafting the NFTs together. So once a blueprint is used to craft, let's say a rover or a planet, it's burnt in the process, ensuring uniqueness and scarcity of crafted items. So if we click on economy, you can see how their marketplace works in terms of the play to earn user, the P2W user, and then the investor on how it works with the fuel, the rover, the mining, you know, being able to play to win and earn LRT tokens among with other benefits. So very, very dynamic play to earn, play to win. And then the investor that are more interested in LRT as a crypto asset. And one thing that's gonna get this to go viral that I don't see many people talking about yet, but every successful company in the world does this, Amazon Associates does this. So if they don't do it, they're most likely not gonna be a successful company, but that's using a referral bonus for users who invite their friends to play the game in an affiliate program to attract mainstream gamers. They're gonna run targeted ads on social media and gaming websites as well. So when we go to Google Trends and we type in play to earn games, you guys can see that play to earn is becoming more popular with you know different spikes happening at periods of time. Like in January of 2022, it was 100 out of 100. And if we type in gaming crypto, you can see that gaming crypto was 100 out of 100 in November of 2021 at the peak of that bull run and so right now we're at 23 out of 100 and we're breaking from the bear market lows where we are seven out of 100 so play to earn gaming gaming crypto crypto gaming and top crypto nft games those keywords are going to absolutely skyrocket over the next one to two years when hundreds of billions of dollars start flowing into this space and so if land rocker is going to start running targeted ads on social media and gaming websites along with competitions and events for different prizes like nfts and cryptocurrency they could absolutely dominate the sector as a standalone play to earn game now, if we look at the parent company of Landrocker, it's called Infinite A, and they're diversified in multiple sectors like real estate design, education and training, real estate e-commerce, gaming, sports and entertainment, industry and technology, travel and hospitality, media, artificial intelligence, among many other. And their main focus right now as a company in their portfolio is Landrocker. That's why it's listed as number one right here. And you can see all the other projects that they've worked on in different sectors. So when you guys click the link below this video and you go to their website and we scroll all the way down, you can see that the company partners features immutable, they have Google Cloud, T-Mobile, uh, Sunrise, Gulf Business, among many other companies. If we click on the link to their Telegram, they have about 10,000 members in their Telegram group. If we go to their Twitter, they have about 22,000 followers and they're posting updates constantly on here. And so the challenge that Landrocker has is just to get users to play the game and to actually enjoy the game and start using LRT in-game to be able to craft NFTs you know, and use it. So when we look at the gameplay footage, guys, I think it's absolutely incredible how well of a job this project has done. And the fact that they're only launching at a $1.5 million market cap is like potentially spotting an Axie Infinity or an Alluvium before they blew up. Now, with them being an official partner of IMX, Immutable, their Twitter has 374,000 followers. And so if they get more traction, they get more gameplay users, and Immutable starts featuring them on their Twitter, they get a lot of engagement in every single one of their posts, you know, 2,000 plus likes, 1,000 plus likes. So if Immutable starts tweeting about this project, then everyone within IMX's ecosystem that sees all these other large cap projects at like 50 million, 100 million, 500 million, or a billion dollars are going to start looking at this project as a low market cap gem. So when we look at the token, LRT serves as the main governance and utility token of the Landrocker ecosystem. So players can buy LRT, they can use it to get fuel, rovers, blueprints, and other in-game items on the Landrocker marketplace. Landrocker also offers staking mechanisms that allows players to earn fuel or rovers by staking their tokens for a certain period of time, and that's gonna be coming soon. Uh, they plan to maintain a fixed supply of LRT with no further tokens being minted after the initial token sale. So this is going to ensure that LRT retains its value over time as the demand for the token increases due to the growth of the Landrocker ecosystem. So the total supply is 10 billion tokens. And you guys can see the vesting schedule is followed in terms of the allocation for the seed round, the pre-sale, the reserve, the team and advisors, the treasury, gaming incentives, marketing airdrops, and then liquidity. So their staking is coming soon and they're also going to have a swap. But you guys can play the game just by going through the link below, clicking play game, and then you can select light. Or if you select the pro game, it's gonna take you to the learn more tab and then you can read up more on it and you can watch these videos. And these videos are basically gonna show you what the, the gameplay footage is going to look like, where you can basically fly around to different planets, drive your rovers around, you know, mine different materials. It kind of reminds me of like a Minecraft style vibe where you can like dig into these planets and dig down to find this different stuff. So I think it's pretty cool and I'm definitely gonna play this game. So if you guys wanna test it out, just click play. And on the homepage, if we click on audit below the trailer video, you can see that they were audited by consult and it says no honeypot option, no blacklist found, no mint function, no high selfies trading enabled. And then also on the global overview, you know, we can see 
that the owner does not need to enable trading. Owner cannot mint new tokens. Everything is checking out here. And if you want to check out the rest of their white paper, just click the link below. It says white paper and go ahead and click gameplay. As soon as you click gameplay on the left hand side, you can see everything else about the game. So obviously there's no guarantees that this project is going to do 100x or 500x or 1000x, but launching at a $1.5 million market cap, I think is extremely low. So what you guys want to do right now, go through the link in the description below, click enter on the website. It's going to say that the token sale is live. And if you purchase $265 of LRT, you get a ticket to the Bitcoin hunt and you could find a hidden Bitcoin. No one knows its location. So they're gamifying the whole entire experience of the launch. And then just simply choose Matic if you're on the Polygon network or choose Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain. Connect your wallet and choose how many LRT tokens you want in Matic or in Ethereum and it'll show it right here. And you'll be able to participate in the launch before they go live and start getting listed on decentralized exchanges. So that way you guys can be ready before liquidity flows into the entire altcoin market cap. Because as you can see right here, the market cap of the all-time high is 1.7 trillion. We're only at $1.1 trillion right now. And if we look at the last bull run, when we passed the all-time high, we went absolutely parabolic. And from the low, you know, we performed over a 40X for the entire industry. And so the best projects are either the projects that have bottomed out on the chart and are starting to see a reversal after launch or the projects that have yet to launch at a very low market cap. So just scroll down below the video, click the link, check it out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and comment 777 below. And if you want to get instant access to our free top 10 crypto checklist to discover the next 100x crypto gem, then you can go to bullrunners.com, click the button on the page, put in your best email address. You'll be instantly subscribed to our daily video newsletter where we give you the best information to help you prepare for the worst that's yet to come in this economy. You're going to get instant access to that checklist. It's actually showing you how to spot the next meme coin, which is really cool. You guys are going to see a video where I printed out the checklist and I break down all 10 secrets so you can be able to spot the next project yourself when you do your own research. Because as always, there's no guarantees that you're going to make any money in crypto. In fact, most people lose money because they operate on emotion. They don't watch these videos and they wait forever before they get Get into the markets and they're entering at the later stage of the bull run so make sure you subscribe so that way you can see the best time to spot these projects before they blow up so with that being said i will see you guys on the next video i will see you on bullrunners.com as always you know what to do stay bullish <laughs>